Much like Mo Sider and Lucas Raymond last year at this time, Red Wing fans didn't know what they had, what was coming. Well, everybody is in a hurry to know. So Max Boltman, the fine hockey writer for The Athletic, jumped on a plane and made the short little jaunt over to Sweden to see who might be next in line to join the Wings. Before we start mentioning some names, what was that trip like for you to take in that sort of hockey atmosphere? It was amazing. I, I've never been to Europe before that. And, and the game atmosphere, Ozzy, I don't know if you've been to European games lately. It is wild. They have these yeah. great supporter sections. They, say, they, they sing, they chant the whole game long. If you go to a game, you're going to be hearing it in your ear and in your brain for the next week. Yeah, it's a great atmosphere for sure. We played exhibition there one game. That's I didn't right. play, yeah. though. Jimmy Howard played. I sat back and watched. They weren't cheering for us one bit, and we had we had all the Swedes with us. No, no, they liked their their club teams there, and it was a great atmosphere. What's the quality of the play in this in the Swedish men's league? It's really high. I mean, like it. Let's say the big ice. I think people always talk about what's the difference between the ice. It does make it a challenge to score because the D have all this room to, to take an angle on you, and I, I think it is a hard league to score, and it's a little different style of play. Like I would say, it's less physical, less, less rough and tumble, but there is obviously still hitting, and it's, it's good hockey. All right, uh, Red Wing fans want to know about the names. Simon Edmondson is a, is a top prospect uh, for the Red Wings, uh, taken sixth overall by Detroit uh, last summer. Um, what did you see? What did you hear about him? A, a lot. I mean, he's a really impressive kid. You can see why they like him to take him sixth overall. At 18, he just turned 19 a couple weeks ago. To be playing the kind of role that he is in that league, which is almost 20 minutes a night already at 18, you don't really see. I asked Verlinda's coach about it. He says, usually Usually when he has a guy that age, Roger Ronberg said this, uh, he's got to teach him how to defend. With Edvinson, you tell him something once, he does it. You show him a clip of a shift where he took a bad gap, next shift he's got a good gap. And when you think about the, the kind of development staff that the Red Wings have, he's going to be working with Nick Cromwell, he's going to be working with Nick Lipstrom. That, in combined with those tools, that's a pretty enticing idea. Well, is that ever? I wish I had guys like that. I could have worked with John and you. <laughs> and now I'll move on. One of my favorite names, of the, uh, 6'8", 250, I can't believe I'm saying it as a forward, correct? Elmer Suterbloom. That's right. What a name this is. Red Wing fans are going to love this guy. Tell us a little bit about him. Well, first of all, you said 6'8", 250. That wow. is, I believe, the exact size of the piston center, Isaiah Stewart. Wow. You put him on skates, and he's got a heck of a set of hands on him, too. Wow. People remember from the World Juniors a couple years ago, he pulled off the between-the-legs goal at the net yep. front twice in the same tournament. You see him do it when he plays in Sweden, and he's using the same kind of things. He'll go wide by taking the puck through his legs, and at that size, that's hard to stop. Like, is he a power forward? Does he use his body a lot, or is it more just skill in Sweden on the big ice still? I would say the defining trait of his game is more the skill, and he's got a really big shot, but what he's, he does really well is he uses the length. He uses the reach to protect the puck from guys. I do think when he gets to North America, I have a hard time seeing NHL and AHL coaches not trying to get a bit more bite just yeah. because a little goes a long way well, at that size. He's going to be a target. At 6'8", 250, there's going to be guys who are hitting him, so he's going to have to adjust his game. But, wow, what a talent again. It's so, so exciting to see these two guys coming here eventually one day. What else? Uh, what are the other names that uh, that you heard when you were uh, when you were in Sweden? Yeah, so Suterblom and Edvinson play on the same team. They actually play for Frulunda, which has, the Red Wings have picked six guys from this one team right. in the last three years. Yeah. That's right. The, Lucas Raymond played there as well. They got a couple more. Theodore Niederbach, Liam Dover-Nilsson. They're both more skilled forwards. Dover-Nilsson's really young. He's 18. He's still going between the under-20 team and the pros, so he's still kind of finding his way. But he's skilled, he's smart, and he's competitive. And, and Niederbach is just so creative. You see some shifts from him with the great hands, with the, with the obvious hockey sense. A little farther away, I think, but, but really, you know, exciting prospects nonetheless. Well, the, Red right. Wing, the Red Wings feel a mess with no Swedes anymore, right? They want to get some more back here. Obviously, they've drafted a lot that are very good but I would be remiss Max not to ask you I, I know you're in Sweden but I'm a goalie uh, what are you hearing about Kosa right now I know the World Juniors didn't go like he wanted to either did the World Juniors because it never ended but he, he didn't start a game but uh, what, what are you hearing moving forward with him? Well, I actually spoke to Sebastian a couple months ago, not long after the World Juniors ended. I think what he kind of said is the numbers are down from where they had been the previous two years. He kind of said he's throwing that out the window and said he's just focusing on getting the win. Sometimes for a goalie, that's all it takes. you got to stop worrying about the little yeah. things when the difference between a good game, a great game, and a bad game can be one or two saves. Yeah, absolutely. All right, if you're a hockey fan, you should be reading uh, Max Boldman in uh, The Athletic. Uh, great stuff. Uh, welcome home. Glad you're with us. Uh, meanwhile... Here's the new drama in Light the Lamp. What number will Ozzy make up for how many points he should have that he doesn't? It's part of the, let's call it charm of Light the Lamp this season. Tonight's selections with the usual bruising next. But first, make every moment more with FanDuel Sportsbook. Mo Sider is riding a seven-game point streak, the longest ever for a Wings rookie defenseman. Does he pick up a point tonight? 
If you think yes, you'd have to bet 114 to win 100 back. That's how steady he's been. Make every moment more with FanDuel. He must be 21 and in the state of Michigan to play. The odds are always subject to change. And if you think you have a gambling problem, call 800-270-7117.